Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. So I'm just going to do a little bit of commentary over a older plein air painting that I did in watercolour in gouache in England, in my hometown, Brighton. This is a place, like an arch underneath the Royal Pavilion, well it's actually part of the Royal Pavilion Gardens in England. That was previously a palace owned by some of the royal family of, of England. And this little spot, it's like a really good shelter when it's a very heavy rain, which is quite common, of course. And one day I just wanted somewhere to sketch and I went under this arch, sat myself down, pulled out my sketchbook and just decided to paint this door and this is the the William the fourth tower all right so I'm just about to get started here this is my little sketchbook stick in my back pocket watercolor paper's pretty thick and this is the the border of the artist tape that I mentioned in the previous video a little array around the paper once I'm done, I just pull that off and it comes a nice clean space. I've also got these two little water containers to wash my brushes. Water spray. So just before I got started on the painting itself, I put a little bit of artist tape in this really small travel sketchbook that I've taken with me on my travels to South America and other places around the world. And I just used it as a small border going around the edges of the page to leave a nice white border line after the painting's finished. And you simply remove the tape. So to begin with, I just take out that colored pencil and I sketch in the outline of what it is I'm going to paint. This is pretty important as well if you're doing some kind of structure like an architecture piece just to make sure you've got all of the geometry and everything in place. The second step I do is I get a bit of burnt sienna and just wash, create like a burnt sienna wash which gives that orange warm tone as a backdrop and I let that dry and I begin painting on top in gradually more opaque, more thicker paint with mixing the watercolor and gouache paints together. For lighter washes, I'll use more water with the watercolor and to make it more thicker, I'll simply add more white gouache to the paint mix and add more color as the white itself desaturates and cools any of the color mixes that you make so you have to keep adding that color back in order to get like a thick amount of opaque paint to paint with. Now this tower, the William the Fourth Tower, as I was preparing to sit down and get ready to paint, a guy came out of the door, I think it was a security guard, and he asked me what I was doing and I told him. And then he actually invited me up the stairs and I've never been in here before, even though it's not far away from where I live in Brighton. Never been in there before and he showed me upstairs where you've got these archives of artifacts and things that have been kept for, for many, many years. Lots of scriptures and scrolls and all of this kind of stuff stored away safely. It was very interesting to see and I walked up the spiral staircase and saw the windows at the top. And it was kind of used as a watchtower by guards quite a long time ago, as you would expect in a palace. So I sat here for about, I think it was about an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes, kept applying thicker and thicker paint. It was quite a warm glow coming off the, the walls and I just really liked the door, like the design of the door, the doorknob, that really caught my attention and I actually really enjoyed this study. It was quickly done, more of a quick sketch and that was it. So thank you very much for watching this short video, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.